So when you install a solar or battery system larger than 3.68 kilowatts per phase, you need to submit an application to your local distribution network operator or DNO. This is usually a G98 or G99 application. Now most solar installers will do this application on your behalf and usually after you've settled on a final system design. The designers at your local DNO will look at the total capacity of inverters included in your application and run the calculations based on the most impactful scenario to them, which is when your system is exporting to the grid at full capacity. For example, if you plan to connect a 10 kilowatt solar inverter and a 5 kilowatt battery inverter, they will model for the most impactful scenario, which is when both inverters are exporting to the grid at maximum capacity, i.e. 15 kilowatts is being pushed out to the grid through your local electricity supply. The designer's job is to work out whether the local infrastructure, mainly the transformers, substations and cabling, is strong enough to take the additional power. If the local infrastructure isn't strong enough to take the full capacity of the system, they'll then go back to whoever submitted the application and let them know the largest capacity that can be installed without paying for upgrades to the local network. Often this will include things like generation and export limitation. Now the difference between generation and export limitation is that generation limitation is how much you can generate from your system, whereas export limitation is how much you can export and sell back to the grid. 